Good day, all. Oh, it is great to see you today. It is Thursday, April 23rd. Today's a phenomenal day, or maybe when you're watching this, it's May 23rd or August 23rd. That's a really good day, too. But yesterday was an even bigger day to celebrate. Don't know if you know, yesterday, April 22nd, is Earth Day. And what made it so big this year is that we were celebrating 50 years of Earth Day. And that is a phenomenal day where we remember and we celebrate this beautiful creation that God has made for all of us. So what I want to do for you all today, last week we read a story reminding us about Easter, the first Easter. And today what I want to do, and I'm going to call it I want to read a story from the Jesus Calling Bible Storybook, another great resource for big kids and little kids. Big kids, if you're familiar with the Jesus Calling devotionals, those are devotionals written from the perspective of Jesus. Sarah Young is a phenomenal author, and she wrote this one for kids. But what I want to read today is about the first Earth Day. We'll go a little further back. It would take us all the way to the beginning to hear how we got to Earth Day. So sit tight and enjoy. It's called God's Big Plan. And I just love the artwork in this one too. A, B, C. One, two, three. Everything begins somewhere. Imagine a place with nothing to see, hear, taste, touch, or smell. No earth, no sky. In the beginning, there was nothing, nothing but God the Father, His Son Jesus, and the Holy Spirit. God had a plan to create something big. On the first day, God said, Let there be light! And light happened! God called it daytime. The darkness He called night. On the second day, God separated the sky and the waters. And on the third day, he created land. Water whirled and swirled all around. God gathered the waters into seas, and then up came land. Hills, mountains, valleys, and plains. God spoke again, and plants sprouted from the earth, colorful flowers of every kind. Vegetables, trees tall and strong, their branches loaded with plump, juicy fruit. God saw it all, and he said, This is good. Look at that beautiful. That's a fun celebration of Earth. <gasps> this one's fun next. On the fourth day, God created the sun and popped the moon in the sky. God hung more stars than you could ever count. <gasps> but he wasn't finished yet. Look at those beautiful planets. God created birds and sea creatures on the fifth day. Little minnows and giant whales. Tiny hummingbirds and tall ostriches. Day six is really special. God filled the earth with animals. Worms wiggling in the dirt. Giraffes reaching for the sky. Lions roared. Monkeys laughed. Animals, animals everywhere. But he still wasn't done. What do you think God made next? Hmm, big kids, or if there's little kids around you, I bet you know what he made next. That's a really phenomenal story of what came next. But that's where we'll stop today. Look, we got lots of creatures. Little alligator, little fishies. Look at that fun lion, a giraffe, a little monkey, an elephant. <gasps> so many fun things to help us celebrate Earth Day today. And I want to read that little prayer that it has from Jesus. So it says, Jesus calling. I am the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end, the first and the last. That's from Revelation chapter 22, verse 13. I am the Alpha and the Omega, says Jesus. That means the beginning and the end. Most people call me Jesus. I am God the Son. I made the heavens and the earth. Even then, long before you were born, I thought of you, and I loved you. <gasps> what a great reminder as we think about Earth Day today. 
So what I want to challenge you to do, friends of Holy Cross or friends wherever you are, is I want you to celebrate the beautiful creation that God has given us all around. So maybe that means finding a park, going on a little adventure with friends, making sure you're social distancing and giving other friends their uh, space. Or maybe if you went on a fun trip once with your family, you look at the pictures again and you have a little photo slideshow. That'd be really fun to do. If you have a little garden, you can see the little sprouts that are starting to come up and take care of those plants. I really hope you have a fun time celebrating God's creation on whether we're celebrating the 50th Earth Day or looking back to the first Earth Day long, long ago. But before you go, I want to pray with everybody. So I'll start, and you can repeat after me. Do a, um, I'll start, you repeat. Prayer. Okay, get in your prayer positions, and let's pray. Dear God, thank you for this beautiful day to celebrate the earth. Please help us all take care of it always. We love you, God. And now let all of God's children say, Amen. Well, boys and girls, thanks so much for joining me today. Big kids and little kids had a blast reading and celebrating Earth Day today. Take care, stay safe, and I'll see you again one day soon, hopefully. And in the meantime, God bless.